Hi there and welcome back to fmhtutorials.com continuing with the glitch hop themed sounds we're doing this month within FM8 we're going to be making a dirty glitch hop bass sound today here's the sound we're going to be making so let's start by creating a new sound within FM8 and go over to the operator section going to be using for this sound operators B, C, D and F. So I turn them on and also the operator Z which is the filter. All these sounds are going to root through the filter so I'm going to turn the filter up to the master output but not too high. It's around about 68. I'm going to root F into Z at 100. D is going to go into Z as well at 100. C I'm going to have a little bit quieter at 39 and B is just going to modulate some of the other operators here so we're going to push that into modulating operator F at 42 and we're going to do the same for C going into F at 25 and D as well going into modulating operator F at 30 and I'm also going to root operator Z which is to filter back into B at 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and program some of these waveforms here. For operator F, we're going to have a four formant, and the ratio is going to stay at one, the offset is going to stay at zero. I'm not using operator E. Operator D, going to have a one plus two, and the ratio is going to be 3.0. 115. For operator C, we're going to have a TX wave 2. Keep the ratio at 1 and the offset at 0. And for B, we're going to, the ratio is 3 and it's going to stay as a sine wave. I'm actually going to key sync all of these operators too to just give us a nice consistent sound. <laughs> So it's sounding pretty weak at the moment, but there's a lot more we can do with this sound to fatten it up. So let's move over to the master section, increase the voices to four, take the detune up to about halfway and just pan some of those voices out and pull the analog slider up to just below halfway and pull the digital slider up as well to around about 39. Also, I'm going to take the transpose of this sound and transpose it down two octaves. So, a bit more of a warmer sort of sound now. I can move over next to the filter to help the sound come together really. And push the cutoff up to 100 and filter 1. Pull the resonance down to 0. Keep it in a low pass mode. For filter 2, take the spread down to 0, the resonance down to 0, but push the mode up a little bit so we're getting a bit more of a bandpass filter f for this second filter. And pull the mix slider down as well, so there's a mix between the two, around about 47, keep it parallel serial, keep it at 100 so it's in serial mode. Push the envelope amount up to 100. And then we're going to change the envelope shape of this filter. So and about the attack right off there and have something like that, tempo sync it and pull the pull the release out as well. That's just slowly kind of bringing all the higher frequencies in. I could have a bit more of a curved attack if I wanted a slower. So we can just dial that to taste really. Next we can move on to the envelopes of all the other operators. So for operators B, C and D I actually link these to the filter for the sound. I 
think I had a bit more of attack on these actually. The tempo sync them as well. And then for operator F, if we zoom in on this a little bit, I just took some of the attack away so it wasn't going to clip or be too percussive on the, the attack of the sound and just gave it a little bit of a release as well. Okay, next thing to move on to here is the effects. So we just used the peak EQ and just pushed up some of the mid to high frequencies and also pushed the Q up to around 75 just to widen the frequency band that we're boosting there. Just bringing out some of those mid to high frequencies. Also put a phaser on the sound. Sync the phaser, get the notches and colour the same, the sweep min and max the same, and the rotate the same, and then just pull the dry weight down a little bit. And then also pulled down the effect amount so it was just a bit subtler overall with the two effects in there. Also, I had a bit of vibrato with the sound. Just by modulating the pitch with the LFO, I sync that LFO, key sync to also, and take the key scaling and velocity scaling down. And just pull the rate down to around 39. And I think that's pretty much everything with the sound now. Obviously, the uh, envelopes of B, C, and D are having quite a big effect on the sound. So, if you wanted to put. And playing around with those, we have quite a big effect on the sound. So, obviously, just kind of like move that around to taste. If you want something a little bit more subtle, you can have the attack really kind of slow and backed off. Or something a bit more aggressive like that so there's our sound an aggressive glitch hop bass sound they definitely benefit from being layered with a nice sine wave to give it a bit more of a subby element I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Any questions, then please get in touch. And thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.